Montero again. Fernandez making a super run. Rosales, look at that ball for Alvaro Fernandez. 2 0. Wonderful play by the Seattle Sounders. Freddie Montero to Mauro Rosales. Oh, the vision of the Argentine. It's a franchise record. 11 assists for Mauro Rosales. And let's not forget the finish by Alvaro Fernandez. Mauro Rosales over it. Oh, and he's fantastic. Crafty play from the Argentine. Looking for Eddie Johnson. And Rosales. Brilliant football from Seattle. Steps forward, right foot in and scores. Is he worthy? Of a fat new contract or what? Hey! How are you doing? Hey, good. Working out? No, 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 no. <laughs> Mauro, good to see you, man. Good to um, see you, man. My first memory of you, I think, is Florida. Florida. You came yeah. to me the preseason. We had yeah. no idea who you were or how you arrived in Seattle. So tell us the story of how you even came to join us in Florida. It was a funny story because I was in Mexico. And they were expecting to sell a player and they couldn't. So they couldn't open the space for me and say, okay, you have to wait four months and then you will start playing. But I was, I wanted to play. I, I loved playing and, and I say I cannot wait four months. So I was thinking and it was my birthday. And uh, I told the coach, in Mexico if he can give me one more day uh, off. Seems like uh, I was going to see some friends and family in uh, Florida, but I was going direct to, to see the team and talk with the coaches and uh, train with you guys. So this is why I was under the trellis name, no, <laughs> yeah. no my name. No, I remember. So, uh, and at that moment I was playing in River Play. If he, something comes up, we'd be like, disaster for me because I have to go back to Mexico and Mexico say well you went to celebrate your birthday but you, <laughs> it, it wasn't your birthday it was my birthday but not the reason why I left yeah. to Florida so when I got there I spoke with the with the team and I make everything fast to just come back and meet you guys here in, in, in Seattle. Finding Zakuani, two in the box for him Zakuani burns past Zach Lloyd, across to Rosales, and there is the opening goal. Mauro Rosales scores it, but Steve Zakuani, in his first start for 500 days, makes the difference with the assist. You saw Zakuani and said, I want to play with that guy. Huh? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. I have to just to, to send the ball just to, and I'm he, will <laughs> uh, he will run. He will run. No, I think for me, the thing, the season I remember most from you, because I played with you a bit before my injury, I had the injury. Yeah. So when I was out, I watched a lot. I think one of the best things I've seen in Seattle is the connection you had with Eddie Johnson. Where yeah, yeah, Eddie scored 14 goals, 10 with the head, eight or nine assists for yeah, Mauro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was so good about that connection in 2012, 2013? I think it's not like I studied the player, but I like to see the movements, I like to see how they uh, are waiting for you, how they connected to you. The same with Freddie, the same with uh, uh, the guys they were playing that time. But uh, Eddie, we, he was in the same situation as me. I think he went next year. And I think the first two months we were like arguing and, and <laughs> fighting and uh, all that stuff. And, <laughs> and I say, listen, I, I want the same like you. We don't need to fight anymore. And if you uh, just follow me, you will, you will score a lot of goals. <laughs> and I say, okay. And he was the top scorer, the same like Freddy. And I say, don't worry, I'm looking at you. Even if I'm watching all the yeah. time, I'm looking at you. <laughs> so don't worry. And um, his quality, heading and running, the speed, the skills, perfect player. Normally when a player goes to a new club, especially a club like we had so many good players, strong personality, it takes a long time to kind of establish themselves. But you came and I, I think within one year you were the captain. Yeah. So how did that feel becoming the captain of such a great team in MLS? Yeah. And then did that change how you approach things or not? Uh, it was an honor and give me the plus that probably I didn't have before and give me the plus of that 10% more that I have to give every game. And 
uh, the responsibility uh, of the team that need to be successful uh, every game, no matter which, uh, which team, if it's friendly, if it's a uh, playoff, if it's a uh, season or CONCACAF or anything. It's a team that have to win every game and it's not uh, ups and downs. You have to be always 100% uh, and, and, and what the fans give to us, we, we cannot just be one day, okay, this game I, I'm not feel good, probably I'm not going to give myself, no. It's a club that you have to be 100% also or be outside. There's been so many players that's played here in Seattle, but you're one of the former players that people still remember, and they talk about your seat today, number 10, Rosales shirts and stuff. What, how does that make you feel? Great. Like we told you before, it's, a, it's an honor. And I will always be thankful of the love and, and everything that the fans of Seattle gave it to me, because it's where, where I start in the MLS career, and where, where I feel like home, I feel like a family, and like everybody says, once a Sunday, it's always a Sunday, so you have to be like this.